Okay, so our first DIY is going to be this stovetop potpourri. You're going to need some orange peels, some cinnamon sticks, some whole cloves, and also you're going to need some bay leaves. I'm going to be using my little tea kettle and I'm going to fill it up with some water. You don't have to use a tea kettle if you don't have one. You can use just a small pot. You're going to want to set your burner to the lowest setting just so your little pot there can just simmer away. So first we're going to add in all of the orange peels. Next we're going to go in with our cloves and I'm just going to do two teaspoons but this is completely up to you if you want the scent to be stronger you can add as much as you want. Now we're going to go in with just two of the single bay leaves and to follow that we're going to put in some cinnamon sticks and like I said you can pick as many as you want but I'm just going to go with two. This has to be my all-time favorite potpourri recipe. You're going to absolutely fall in love with this scent. For this next DIY, you're going to need a craft pumpkin. I found this one at the Dollar Tree. You're also going to need a candle of your choice. I'm using a battery operated one, some natural raffia, and these little maple glitter leaves. So to start off, we're just going to measure the candle on the top of the pumpkin so we can begin carving. Now that the top has been carved, I'm just going to go ahead and stick my candle inside and I'm going to go in with the raffia. So I'm just going to untie that and just start selecting a few strands that I want to tie around the base of the candle. And you can tie this in a bow or a knot. I'm actually going to go in with a double knot and then we're going to follow that with some of those maple leaves. You can secure this with hot glue if you prefer, but I decided to leave it just the way it was. For this next DIY, all you're going to need is a computer and a printer. So for this one, we're going to make our own printable. Now if you didn't know, you could use PicMonkey and just select whatever size you want your picture to be. You can actually go to Google, type in pretty much just about any PNG image and just put your own printable together. If you don't want to put your own printable together, there's so many other options. You can actually just go to straight to Pinterest, type in fall free prints, and you will find just about anything your heart desires. This year I actually made my own printables, so I'm going to be printing some of those. picked up some really cute frames from the Dollar Tree this year, making this craft only a dollar. I love how simple these were to make and also the fact that you can interchange them throughout the holidays and the seasons. I am so obsessed with this idea. For our last DIY, we're going to be making a little apothecary jar. This is actually an old refurbished candle jar from Walmart that I'll be using. You'll also need some jute twine and whatever you want to fill the jar with. So I'm just going to take some of that twine and wrap it around the lid just to make it look a little bit more festive. Now I'm going to take some leftover raffia from a previous project and I'm just going to toss that into the jar. This is probably the most simple DIY that you will ever do. So just toss whatever you want inside. I'm just going to use some acorns and just a little crafty pumpkin and top it off. I 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of all the fall fun that I have planned this year. Hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and thanks for watching.